Hello. Good evening, everybody. Just wanted to get on and, and share something with you. Um, I was thinking last night when I did the video, and um, there was a lesson that God had placed on my heart uh, some months ago. It was in May, and I was in the hospital and in a lot of pain. I was having uh, some issues with uh, myositis, and I was on a prayer call. And if I'm not mistaken, the theme for that time was, are you planting or watering blooms with action of God's word? Coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, verses 6 through 7. And I think I added in there uh, verses uh, 9. So, it was so strange the way things happened because... As the lessons, the sister was doing this lesson, it touched me in a mighty way. And when it finished, was over and everything, um, there was mention about the next week um, they needed, you know, was hoping some sisters or Pavel was placed that some another lesson was needed to be done. And so in other words, they was asking sisters, does anyone want to do a lesson, put it that way, you know, to, to call and let them know that you want to do the lesson for next week. They had, you know, a lot of the days to for lessons to be done. So if you wanted to do a lesson, you know, contact the sister. So I'm sitting there and all of a sudden, instantly, the Holy Spirit said, do a lesson. I'm like... I'm in the hospital. I'm like, I don't have my Bible. I'm like, I need pencil and paper. So I'm going to ask for a nurse to pencil and paper. And, and I'm like, I don't have my Bible. You know. And what am I going to write on? The Spirit said, you got your notes. So it was the, the notes in my tablet. I mean, not my tablet, my phone. I said, use that. So, it's like, okay. And then I thought, okay. Next thing I know, I'm on the phone. I'm, I believe I texted her and said, I want to do the lesson, a lesson for next week. Now, mind you, I'm in the hospital. Don't know when I'm coming home. And so, um, she asked which day. And I told her what day, and uh, said, okay. So after we got that taken care of, all of a sudden, all of this, I guess, call it information, whatever was pertaining to the theme is in the scripture is what I just started typing in my notes. I mean, I'm just typing. It was just coming down. And then, um, I think that was, a, I remember a scripture, I remember it came to me, but I didn't know the exact scripture. So I knew what the scripture was saying, but I needed the scripture for it. And I think it was, it was Jeremiah, it was in Jeremiah. So, uh, uh, 1 through 4, chapter 18, 1 through 4. So this lesson was done in May. And like um, it was, it was May, or right before I came home, because I, I came home June the third. So I'm um, thinking it, it was, it was in May, during the week before I came home, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, I finished the lesson. Now, mind you, I never finish the lesson the same day. It takes me over a week. Sometimes I need a whole week, and I always share. I'm going to do a lesson. you got to give me time because I, I pray about it. I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me to, to you know, the right scriptures, the right context, contents to help me with whatever it is, whatever that, that topic is, or if I'm having to come up with the topic and the scriptures to guide me into his truths. 
that's what I, I pray. And it takes me forever. Sometimes it'll come to me a little at a time. And I'm 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 writing or I'm typing. And then it ends. And then it might be three or four days later, something comes to me again. I'm back writing and typing. And then it might take me a week or we can have to finish that 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 lesson. But then I go back and have to rearrange, you know, it's like this goes here, like I I'm doing the the sometimes I'm I'm I got the beginning in the middle and it's it's in so I just have to rearrange. And it's amazing how it comes out. And it's not me doing it, like I shared yesterday. But um when I, I let her know I'm already finished. And I know that that was God. Because I never finished it. And then the other thing is, y'all, lessons always long. Do like 15, 20 minute lessons. And I've always had trouble in doing a, I guess, a two minute, three minute, five minute, five minute lesson. And I would never, you know, say I want to do it because my lesson would run 15 minutes. <laughs> and so, for the first time, this lesson, I believe it was probably about five minutes, I want to say, if that. And I was blown away. And I knew that was the Holy Spirit guiding me in what to write. And it was less than what usually it is. So I wanted to share this with you. And um, so it's, are you planting or watering blooms? with actions of God's word. From 1 Corinthians 3, chapter 3, verse 6, uh, and I put through, uh, through that, says, My job was to plant the seed, and Apollos was called to water it. Any growth comes from God. So the ones who water and plant have nothing to brag about. God, who causes the growth, is the only one who matters. The one who plants is no greater than the one who waters. Both will be rewarded based on their words. And then verse 9 says, We are gardeners and field workers laboring with God. You are the vineyard the garden, the house where God dwells. So, let's get into the lesson. As the word of God is being planted, as we need God like we need living water, the water refreshes us. It keeps us alive and as we learn to apply and deeply understand what the living water is feeding us, we put it into action, growing more into how Christ meant for us to be. Taking action to move away from people, places, attitudes, behaviors, play things that doesn't please God changing our mindset. Right as I was coming out of the world in 2007, I prayed and asked God to help me. And I told him that I needed him like I needed water. At that time, God started working more and more in me as I took all the necessary steps that I myself had to work on. Changing, putting God's words into action by letting what God has already planted in me, his words from the Bible, to live by showing Christ in me, in my weaknesses, in my illnesses, in my hardships, in my trials and tribulations. As all of that changed, God did the transformation. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 1 through 
verses 1 through 4. And let me, let me get that. Okay, it's the Jeremiah 18, 1 through 4. And you follow along with me. But I'm reading from the voice translation tonight. So 18, 18 Jeremiah chapter 18, 1 through 4. And it says, The word of the eternal came to Jeremiah. It says, Go down to the part of shop in the city and wait for my word. So I went down to the part of shop and found him making something on his wheel. And as I watched, the clay vessel in his hands became flawed and unusable. So the potter started again with the same clay. He crushed and squeezed and shaped it into another vessel. That was to be was to his liking. Okay. And then um see wanna go on down to verse uh what I say so one through four. Okay. All right, so we're going to stop there. All right, so, and the emphasis was on, that's what I was going to look at. I'm sorry about that. So the emphasis is Jeremiah 18, 1 through 4, with the emphasis on verse 6, which says, O people of Israel, can I not do the same to you as this potter has done you? you and me okay are like clay in my hands i will mold you as i see fit okay so with that in mind so he is the potter and i am the clay he twisted me he turned me and he got me out of my comfort zone he helped me face my fears, he humbled me, and so much more. He also done, I mean, just, <laughs> he done so much more in my life, okay? In for that, I am grateful for all things in every area of my life. It took a village to help as well. Each pouring into me, each playing their part as God touches them to plant and water. God's living water, just his words, not only gives us life through nourishing us, it gives us courage, confidence, strengthens us, it strengthens our faith and as we mature. His living word keeps us in love with God, loving people more the way God loves, and more importantly, keeps us depending on Him by believing and trusting, being obedient to Him more and more. And it keeps getting stronger and stronger and blossoming more and more for the whole world to see and be drawn to Christ. So, as God is molding and shaping us, it's, it's not for us. It's to glorify Him so that others can see Him in us and it draws them to him through everything that we go through here in the physical. Now remember, we're spirit people. So we're going through spiritual things. We have the spiritual warfare so we go through. Remember things in the spirit manifest into the physical. Okay? So as we're going through everything, we are to show God's strength in us. 
people shouldn't always, and I'm going to say shouldn't always because we are human. When we go through things, sometimes we look like what we're feeling at that time. To be honest, because I know I have. But as you grow more and more in the Lord and you become applying his word more and more, and then you you start not to look like what you're going through at that time. You see, because God calms your spirit. Okay, he gives you peace in the spirit and peace in the physical. So when that attack comes, because it's not coming from the physical, it's coming from the spiritual, that, that spirit behind that person, in that person. So when that when we see their physical, we see them. And so when that happens, you know, when we being calm and we responding and reacting different, and you know that that's God, he's... He's changed. He's transformed you. So you're not acting and responding the way that you usually, you would have. And so, and as I mentioned in the lesson, when he shaped us, twists and turns, he's molding us into his image. Our spirits, we're becoming more like him. It's uncomfortable, y'all. It is really uncomfortable. But it's a good uncomfortable because then you, you let go of your fears and you, that's when you, you start trusting the Lord. You really start trusting and surrendering. I had to learn what true surrender meant. It's, you can say, yes, I believe. Yes, I trust him. And I believe his word. But you have to really surrender everything to him and just let it go and really trust him. When your back is against that wall and things just start happening to you, it's like, Bam, 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 one after the other. How you going to react? What does people see? So that that was lesson, you know. You Everybody plays a part in your life that you've come across, that's come into your life, whether it's for a minute, for a season. Um, they, they bring something, okay? They, they plant a seed. And then somebody else comes to water. So they plant a good seed. You learn it from them. Because we learn from each other. You plant that seed. And you might not understand what's been planted in you. And you pray, talk to God, ask God to help you for understanding and guidance. And then he'll send somebody else. Or you might hear a message. Or somebody might just in passing. And you realize, oh, okay. They're watering. You're getting watered by different people. Now, there can be some bad seeds planted too. But out of the bad, bad seeds, it's lessons to be learned so that you will have um, God's goodness out of it. It will turn the bad seed into goodness, in other words. So it's like you finding the joy out of the bad seed that was planted. And that's what's giving you the strength that you have today because of that man upstairs. Okay? So I know for me, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for God, his guidance, his strength. And for so many people, like I said, that poured into me that I learned from that helped me on this journey of my life with Christ. And it's been a hard, rough one. But you know what? Following God, it's my leader, he's brought me through. There's some trials and tribulations. He says we're all going to trials and tribulations. You and the Lord, but you're still going to go through some things. That's how the, the test is. That's when the test comes. Are you really showing faith? Your faith being shown when you're going through that. And my faith is not tested. And I'm going to tell you, there were some times I failed. But as you grow and mature, you start passing them tests. That's that's when the peace of God and the calmness come on you when nothing bothers you no more like it used to. It don't frustrate you. It don't irritate you. You know, now, you might feel something for a minute. I'm not going to say that. And sometimes we do. But like zero to 100 seconds, you're like, Ooh, okay, Lord, I'm giving it to you. And you start praying. You're talking to him, asking him help you with that and you go back to feeling 
your peace, your joy, your serenity, your harmony, the balance, all of that. So that's what I wanted to share with you. And uh, remember, God loves you, and I love you too. You have a good rest of the evening. God bless you.